Hey guys, Mr. here for quick videos to explain um, coconut mold glitch uh, in depth. Uh, so how exactly it works, why it works like that, and so I will try to explain uh, everything here. So here I'm on uh, an emulator. So. Uh, this is a coconut mold task. Um, I don't know if it uh, was released when you saw this video. Probably. So here we have a ram rush, some ram rush. So uh, here, this is uh, there is a few important uh, things. Actually, two important things uh, we are going to look at. Uh, the two important one are this. This is way race completions. Uh, so to complete um, a race, you need uh, the final value to be four. Um, and for each lap, so to complete a uh, full lap one, you need to beat uh, to value to be two. And for lap uh, to complete lap two, you need to beat three. And for lap three, you need to beat four. And here it's key checkpoints. Uh, so there are two types of checkpoints in Mario Kart 3. There are main checkpoints or key checkpoints, um, which uh, is important for late counts. And there are normal checkpoints, uh, which are for leg 2 and uh, enemy routes uh, and item routes. Uh, if you do consume tracks, uh, you know that. Uh, so we are not going to look at checkpoint uh, normal checkpoints ID, which is here. We are only going to look at K checkpoint ID and race completion. Uh, here it's uh, speed uh, or meter, so it's the speed of the vehicle. And here it's frame of inputs. It's not really important. So here we are in checkpoint uh, key checkpoint zero, and our race completion is very low. It's low one. So a basic thing about um, my uh, Mario Kart to get glitch works. It's you need to be uh, in checkpoint zero and cross uh, and cross the last checkpoints after being in checkpoint zero, uh, key checkpoint zero, uh, to get a lap count. So here uh, to enter in the glitch, uh, as you saw, I need to go pretty find the track and across key checkpoint one. So I'm gonna need uh, to cross it back. Uh, Ozawa, when I cross uh, last key checkpoint, which on coconut mode is checkpoint five, uh, if I don't cross back checkpoint one, it won't work. So that's what I'm gonna do uh, here. So you see, I here I use another shroom, and I'm gonna go to the left, uh, to the right, sorry, here when I need to go more to the left actually to get a good last turn so I'm actually uh, I need to lose time to, uh, technically to hit uh, back to cross back uh, check key checkpoint one which I'm gonna do which is around here uh, you're gonna see it you're gonna turn to zero so, so you see it's right here let's go maybe slightly uh, take it uh, pretty far to the left here and now all I have to do is cross checkpoint 5 and the lap, the lap would count uh, but uh, there is an interesting thing about the coconut wall uh, uh, comparing to for example where is going mine glitch is uh, you have two ways to do the glitch or you do the clip strat uh, which is uh, Taz and we are strat or you do a more safe or old strat which you know you uh, go straight uh, after crossing the finish line uh, hit the wall and go back to cross checkpoint one cross it back uh, I think you have something to do with the fact that uh, the next checkpoint after uh, key checkpoint zero is a key checkpoint and key checkpoint one. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah. Um, 
and that's um, that's also the same thing on uh, Mepochure when you we go in the area. So <coughs> in the hidden uh, area to do uh, to skip checkpoint one, uh, so technically not crossing uh, key checkpoint zero. Okay. So here uh, you need to remember just quickly remember how tight I take a uh, key checkpoint uh, five, so the last turn, because you're gonna see it's quite different on lap two and lap three. Uh, because uh, there is an interesting thing: is checkpoints are not. Uh, lines but box uh, there are boxes each checkpoint is a boxes and here I'm gonna cross it uh, near the end of checkpoint um, uh, which is near a checkpoint um, actually uh, and this checkpoints uh, for optimization, because actually, this, uh, I think key checkpoints uh, five um, is more around here. But since we can cross it in the box, it's not too important. So here, I'm gonna cross it around here. Yeah. So it's done five. So no, I just need to cross. Uh, the finish line and I'm gonna get uh, awarded a lap count and you see it goes to 1.9 so value it's really important you're gonna need to remember this for lap 2 and 3 <coughs> uh, so here it's 1.9 so I just need to cross uh, the, uh, lap, the finish line and it's gonna go to 2 and I'm gonna get a lap <coughs> you see, uh, so yeah So here I'm gonna do the clip strats. So not crossing directly the finish line, uh, which is here. So I'm gonna cross it later in the box. And when you cross it in the box, uh, you're gonna see the race, um, the race completion value will go to two, but not two point zero zero zero, but two point zero zero something. Here. Because I cross it later, and here I cross it pretty late because I got 2.009. I think you can get a 2.01 if you cross it slightly later. You can cross it a bit later, but for optimization, uh, it's not uh, good to do that. So here I didn't. And more uh, this value is um, low. So more across, uh, more I go early in the check uh, point uh, box. Um, more I need uh, to take uh, a certain area, which is more far in the checkpoint box of key checkpoint five. Uh, so here, since I didn't take it at two point zero zero uh, one uh, something. I need to take it really uh, more wider than on uh, lap one. You're gonna see it here. I take it much wider, and you're gonna see it's gonna turn to 2.9 when I cross checkpoint five. Here, cross checkpoint five. Okay, uh, checkpoint five, which is checkpoint 39, but we don't care, and it's turned to 2.5, 2.9. So the lap would count, and I'm gonna aim to redo on lap, uh, on lap uh, at the end of lap two to do the glitch on lap three, uh, which is the same. Here I I cross the checkpoint slightly uh, early for optimization purpose once again. Uh, so you're gonna see it won't be a one point. Um, it won't be uh, something like three uh, three point zero zero. Nine, but uh, three point zero zero eight, and this means I need to take uh, less turns, slightly uh, wider than on lap two. But uh, it was the best way in my test. 
So here you go. Uh, and here I'm gonna cross it very soon. So let's check on you. See, I'm already while on lap one. I would already have gone uh, uh, to checkpoint uh, three point. Uh, almost get the, uh, the checkpoint uh, without point three point nine. So uh, I need to take it uh, around here to get three point nine. Uh, which I need so here to take a wider turn and here I will cross normally the finish line and you see it's done to 4 so uh, that's pretty much uh, all for uh, this uh, so why does it work like that? Um, because they are boxes, and I think if you crossed a certain, uh, a certain value in check, uh, in the checkpoint uh, zero, so if your race completion is a certain value when you cross key checkpoint zero, you need to cross this uh, so maybe the same value uh, or around the same value, uh, maybe a slightly uh, worse. Uh, to get uh, on on key point five, so relatively the same value, to uh, get uh, the the same uh, check uh, to get uh, the right race completion, and so to get the lap count after, and this is all due to uh, the fact that checkpoints are not lines but boxes. So that's pretty much all for CM glitch. That's uh, how it works. I did not uh, explain the physics, uh, especially, but more the lap count, uh, the lap counts, um, because that was on the goal of this video. Uh, I'm gonna say uh, thanks to uh, uh, Swear for uh, uh, their one watch uh, value here. Uh, which was a great help in the test and also to explain it. Uh, so check uh, his channel, the link is in the description. Thanks for watching and goodbye.